Welcome back to Upper Michigan. Today we are talking about Link to Legends, a documentary about the UP teams that played the Packers. We've got Dwight Brady and Bob Thompson from WNMU with us, and uh, we've been learned a little bit about the history here, but we've got some pictures we want to show. Uh, let's get that first one on the screen. Uh, Dwight, tell us about what we're looking at here. Well, this represents kind of a diversion. You know, I, I, there were so many interesting things to talk about with this, and then I learned that there was uh, a gentleman who is a Marquette native, uh, Gus Sullenberg, who played for a, a world championship team in the NFL, uh, the Providence Steamroller, uh, but he also went on to have a very successful wrestling career. Hmm. And it just so happened that he wound up wrestling Bronco Nagurski of Chicago Bears fame uh, six different times. So in order to get the, the full story on this, I, I took liberty here to uh, uh, track down Bronco Nagurski's son, Tony, as you see here yeah. in the picture. And we uh, uh, went up to uh, uh, International Falls, Minnesota, and sat down and had a great conversation with, with Tony uh, to kind of fill in the gaps on that story and a couple other things related to uh, uh, his dad in, in the NFL. It was, it was really cool. You could have done a documentary just on that. Yeah, Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so it was a bit of a departure from you know, talking about the Packers, but it just shows how many different connections there, there were for uh, UP uh, athletes at that time, not only with the Packers, but playing against uh, the Duluth Eskimos, uh, the Milwaukee Badgers, mm. and then a Chicago Bear connection here too. So it, it was it was a lot of fun to just to pursue whatever it is that I found interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's take a look at the next picture. All I wrote down <laughs> for this one was, that's Johnny Blood. Johnny Blood McNally. <laughs> he, he was the original bad boy of the NFL. And uh, he, he was one of four Packer uh, players that were inducted into the Hall of Fame, though, in 1963 when, when they started the, the NFL you know, Pro Football Hall of Fame. So he was a great player, too. Um, but the interesting thing about Johnny Blood McNally is that he played his first three professional games for the Ironwood Legion team. Hey. So he got his start here in the UP Very and went cool. on to be a Hall of Famer and mentored Don Hudson. I mean, just so many cool connections yeah. here with the UP and, and the Packers. All right. And then our next picture, I recognize the name because it's now the name of a bar in Green Bay, yes. Hegemeister Park. Yeah. So that that's th that's the parking lot in front of the, 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 I guess we'll call it a stadium. It wasn't much. It was a sand lot with some makeshift uh, bleachers there. But that's where the Packers played their first three seasons there uh, from 1919 through 1922. It's an interesting scene. Those yeah. vehicles, the black and white, just all of it is really neat. Um, and then we also wanted to play uh, some sound from Steve Mariucci. And he really just talks about what it, what it means to be from the Upper Peninsula. Take a listen. Mariucci would go on to coach the San Francisco 49ers and the Detroit Lions. And he is now an analyst for the NFL Network. But he still owes some of his success to his Uper roots. We don't grow up with a silver spoon in our mouth or any of those things, so I, I, I think we learn a certain work ethic, a uh, certain sense of family, a certain sense of community. Um, you're raised by the village. I really believe that here. Um, and and uh, you get to appreciate, yeah, there's rivals. Iron Mountain hates Kingsford, and Nagani hates Ishbeming in, in certain ways, you know, if, as from, from a rivalry sports sort of a concept, but but uh, we respect the heck out of each other because when we, when we go down state or when we go elsewhere, it's us against the world, man. It's, <laughs> it's, we got something to prove. And so it's pretty cool to be from here and be part of this. And I don't, and I don't really think that people sometimes appreciate that, you know, how lucky we are to be living in a, and grow up in a place like the Upper Peninsula it really is. And until you get out and, and, and experience other places and appreciate other places, um, you don't really know how special this place is. It's what a great interview and a, a great moment to share of uh, with this, something we can all relate to, right? Uh, but Bob, tell us about how we can find this documentary if you know we want to watch it, especially this weekend in football spirit. Sure. Well, you've heard all the stories that Dwight had to say and they're I mean they're compelling and the documentary really does bring it together so go to WNMU TV's website you can google WNMU TV it'll pop up and uh, when WNMU TV website pops up there's a banner right across the top that says link to legends click on it and uh, you can watch it the whole full thing without any interruptions okay. no no 70 uh, minutes right yes. 70 minutes 70 minutes 70 minutes so. and uh, it's there for any time any any way 
All and right. if you are inclined, go ahead and go to the donation page and make a donation to WNMTV. <laughs> there you go. Got to get that in there once. I love it. All right. Well, get your popcorn. Take a seat. It's very, very interesting. So many it is. wild things that I would have never known. They're great stories. Great yeah. stories. All right. We're not done with you guys yet, just yet. But we do have to take another quick break. We'll do that and we'll be right back.